So at this point, you have invited the Prophet ﷺ to your house. He knows your name. He jokes with you, alayhi salatu wasalam. And he had a way, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, of making you feel like you were the most beloved person to him, even if there were many people that were ahead of you on the list. And that was from his mercy, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu has an interesting way of describing the Prophet Sallallahu in this regard. He says that the Prophet Sallallahu used to attract the people to him. He was the opposite of someone who turns people away from faith, right? You saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you wanted to be around him, you naturally loved Allah more when you were around him. He would not repel people Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he was like a magnet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam and people would get close to him. And he said that the Prophet ﷺ would take the person that was noble amongst the people and he would charge them with their affairs, meaning he would uphold their position ﷺ. And at the same time, of course, and this is not the description of Ali radiallahu anhu, but what we've established thus far of how the Prophet ﷺ would take people that had no status in society and he would uplift them ﷺ and in charge them with the affairs of the people on the basis of their piety. But then he says that the Prophet ﷺ was actually wary of people. He was guarded, alayhi salatu wasalam, but that wouldn't cause him to deprive them of his warm smile or his blessed conduct, alayhi salatu wasalam, his good character. And what that means is that the Prophet ﷺ was not naive, right? The Prophet ﷺ was someone that showed people the best akhlaq, but he wouldn't be an effective leader, alayhi salatu wasalam, if he didn't have some type of guard, not one that caused him to mistreat you, but one that caused the Prophet ﷺ to make sure that he was upholding the integrity of the community. And so it was easy for you to think that the Prophet ﷺ was your best friend. And that was due to his good character ﷺ. And how many ahadith do you find of personal nasihas that the Prophet ﷺ gave to people, personal advice, right? A companion whose name you might not have ever heard before, but you hear it in the capacity of the Prophet ﷺ giving personal advice to people. And how many times do you find the Prophet ﷺ turning towards someone and giving them very involved advice that makes its way into the books of Ahadith and becomes a guide for us on how to live as well. So the Prophet ﷺ gave personal attention to people. He gave personal advice to people. He also liked to exchange gifts with people Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Al-Rubayyah ta'ala anha, she says that I brought the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a tray of dates and some small cucumbers. Prophet ﷺ used to like cucumbers. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gifted me in return a handful of jewelry Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's why Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha says that the Prophet ﷺ, if someone gave him a gift, he wanted to gift that person as well. And you can imagine how many people would go to the Prophet ﷺ and give him a gift. And the Prophet ﷺ would make note of that and he'd want to gift that person immediately in return, or he would gift them at some later point alayhi salatu wasalam. So now we're in a place where I have personal conversations with him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is joking with me alayhi salatu wasalam. Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says, I never saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi except that he was smiling at me. So you see the difference here, that it's not just that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi was always smiling. No, like he always smiled at me. I felt his warmth sallallahu alayhi wa And on top of that, we are exchanging gifts as well. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa takes gifts from me. He gives me gifts. And that's something that's special, right? And so you have this really beautiful narration from Amr ibn al-As radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The same Amr radiallahu ta'ala anhu who waged war on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi for all of those years, who tried to take back the refugees in Habasha and Abyssinia, convince the Najashi to give them up, who persecuted the Prophet sallallahu alayhi in Mecca, who fought against the Prophet sallallahu alayhi in numerous battles, who in Uhud was actually one of the main engineers of that plot in Uhud that led to the deaths of many people. But he embraced Islam and he became a beloved companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And you imagine that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi treated him in such a way that he thought that he might now be the best friend of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he narrates this by giving us the full picture. He says that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to speak to and show love and affection to Ashar al qawm to the worst person of a people, to where they would think they are Ashraf al qawm They would think they're the best people, 
right? Because the Prophet ﷺ gave them so much love and attention. And he says, this was a form of ta'lif, a form of bringing hearts together that the Prophet ﷺ employed as part of his mannerisms. And so he would give me this attention and he would speak to me in the special way. And he showed me such love that I started to think that maybe I'm the Prophet Sallallahu best friend. So one day I went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and another hadith, by the way, he explains that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, put him at the head of an army. So this is serious now, right? Like I'm up there with the rest of them. So he said, I went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one day in front of the people. And I said, Ya Rasulullah, ayyu nasi ahabbu ilayk. O Messenger of Allah, who is the most beloved of people to you? So you can imagine the scene, right? Amr radiallahu anhu is looking out to the people. Ya Rasulullah, go ahead and tell them, who's the most beloved person to you? The Prophet Sallallahu doesn't lie. Rasulullah Sallallahu said, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. And Amr ibn As radiallahu anhu says, no, 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 min rijal I mean from the men, because it was weird, right? I mean, that's one of those things like kissing your kids in public. What do you mean? You love your wife more than everybody else. And the Prophet Sallallahu says, well, Abuha, her father, I'm being honest, right? And he didn't say Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said Abuha, her father, who of course is Abu Bakr. But it's like the Prophet Sallallahu is still connecting the love that he has for Abu Bakr to the love he has for Aisha. So I love Aisha. And then you ask me from who from the men? Well, it's Abu Bakr. And then he says, okay, then who? Because it's understood, right? You know, Prophet Sallallahu and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, Abu Bakr was the first uh, from the men to embrace Islam, the best friend of the Prophet Sallallahu Okay, that makes sense. Then who, Ya Rasulullah? He said, Umar <laughs> radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Amr al-As radiallahu anhu says, okay, fine. You know, the, the two shaykhs, it was known, right? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi used to say, I, Abu Bakr and Umar all the time. I, Abu Bakr and Umar did this. I, Abu Bakr and Umar saw this. I, Abu Bakr and Umar agree with this. So he said, fine, who else after Umar? Who's next? So the Prophet Sallallahu said, Uthman. So he said, I didn't want to ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam anything else. And I felt horrible for even asking him because I was afraid he'd never mention my name Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, of course, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not want to make him feel that way. But the point was, is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had made him feel such a way that he felt like he could ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that question and he would be his best friend. He would be the most beloved person in the world to him. And can you imagine how many people that did not used to assign value to themselves, that did not used to think highly of themselves, that did not think they had access to anyone, that the Prophet ﷺ made feel like they were the most beloved and most important people to him in the world ﷺ, as he certainly was to them. Sallu alayhi Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam